Do you ever feel like you're stuck using the same basic verbs over and over again? Well, by the end of this lesson, you know 20 advanced verbs that will help you express yourself like a native English speaker. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Why Not Academy. My name is Sarah. Today, we're going to talk about 20 advanced verbs that will take your English fluency to the next level. If you start using these verbs in your everyday conversations, and especially when you drop them in naturally without trying too hard, you definitely impress people. And to make it even better, I'll be giving you sample sentences for each verb to show you how they can be used in both formal writing and casual spoken English. This will help you understand how versatile these verbs can be in different contexts. All right, let's dive straight into these advanced verbs. First, we have elucidate. Elucidate. It means to explain something clearly and thoroughly. This verb is often used in formal writing. For example, in her thesis, the researcher elucidated the complex relationship between economic growth and environmental sustainability. Or, can you elucidate what you meant by that? I didn't quite get it. Next, we have promulgate, promulgate, which means to promote or make something widely known, often in a formal or official context. Example, the government promulgated new labor laws to ensure fair wages for all workers. Or they've been promulgating that new trend on social media for weeks now. Number three, we have insinuate insinuate. It means to suggest or imply something subtly, often without saying it directly. Example, the report insinuated that the company's financial troubles were due to mismanagement. Or, are you insinuating that I didn't do my part? Just say it. Number four, we have postulate. Postulate. This means to assume or suggest something as a basis for reasoning or argument. The philosopher postulated that humans are inherently social creatures. Or let's just postulate that everyone will be on time and we'll figure out the rest later. Next is exemplify. Exemplify. This means to illustrate or demonstrate something by giving examples. The company's success exemplifies the importance of strong leadership and innovation. Or she really exemplifies what it means to be a great friend. Next, we have fathom, fathom, which means to understand something, especially something difficult or complex. For example, Scientists are still trying to fathom the mysteries of the deep ocean. Or, I just can't fathom how she managed to finish the project so quickly. Number seven, to deduce. Deduce. It means to reach a conclusion by reasoning or analyzing the available evidence. From the data collected, researchers were able to deduce that the population was steadily declining. Or, I can deduce that you didn't get much sleep last night based on how tired you look. Number eight, we have ameliorate. Ameliorate. This verb is a formal verb that means to make something better or improve a situation. The government implemented new policies to ameliorate the economic situation. Or, we need to find a way to ameliorate this issue before it gets worse. Before we dive into the next advanced verb, you might have noticed I've included phonetic transcriptions for the verbs today. It's important to practice sounding out new words accurately, which is why I want to quickly mention pronouns. Pronounce is an AI-powered tool that helps you improve your pronunciation, grammar, and fluency. You can input any word like the verbs from today's lesson, and pronounce will guide you in either a British or American accent with instant feedback to help you improve on the spot. But that's not all. Pronounce offers several ways to help you practice. First of all, you can record calls. 
This is perfect for reviewing how you sound in real conversations. You can record your conversations and get instant feedback on things like clarity, correctness, and fluency. It's a great way to reflect on how you're doing in actual situations. You can also chat with AI. You can chat with an AI speech coach on topics that interest you or choose curated ones. For example, you can talk with the AI about these 20 advanced verbs we're learning today. It's a great way to practice using them in real conversations while getting feedback on your pronunciation and fluency. If you like practicing pronunciation by reading, Pronounce lets you read curated articles or any text of your choice. That's right, any text of your choice. It's a great way to fine tune your skills at your own pace. Pronounce gives you personalized feedback on pronunciation errors, grammar issues, and even helps reduce filler words, making you sound more confident and fluent. Whether you are just starting out or are an advanced learner, it's an excellent tool to take your skills to the next level. It's easy to use words with apps like Zoom and Google Meet and it's trusted by over 200,000 users. This video isn't sponsored by Pronounce. I'm sharing it because I genuinely believe it's a great tool that can help improve your pronunciation, especially when practicing advanced verbs like the ones we're covering today. If you'd like to give it a try, I've included a special affiliate link in the description, which means I'll earn a small commission if you use it. Thank you for supporting my channel. Alternatively, I've also included the official Pronounce website if you prefer to check it out directly. Either way, I hope it helps you on your English learning journey. Let me know in the comments if you've tried Pronounce and what you think. Now, let's get back to the lesson. Number nine, to evaluate. To evaluate. This verb means to assess or judge the value, quality, or importance of something. For example, the committee was asked to evaluate the effectiveness of the new curriculum. Or, let's evaluate the pros and cons before making a decision. Number 10, we have to hypothesize. To hypothesize. This verb means to suggest or propose an explanation for something, often based on limited evidence. Example, the scientists hypothesized that the drop in temperature was due to volcanic activity. Or, if I had to hypothesize, I'll say the traffic will get worse as we get closer to the city. Number 11, we have to substantiate. To substantiate. This verb means to provide evidence to support or prove something. For example, the lawyer substantiated her claims with documents and witness testimony. Or, do you have anything to substantiate your argument? It sounds interesting, but I need proof. At number 12, we have to authenticate. To authenticate. This verb means to verify that something is genuine or true. The museum staff worked to authenticate the newly discovered painting by the famous artist. Or, we need to authenticate that document before we can move forward. Number 13, we have to validate. To validate. This verb means to confirm or prove the accuracy of something. For example, the experiment's results were validated through several rounds of testing. Or, her story was validated by multiple witnesses, so it seems true. Number 14, we have to discern. To discern. This verb means to recognize or perceive something, especially something not obvious. For example, it was difficult to discern the exact cause of the malfunction. Or you can say, I can't quite discern the difference between these two shades of blue. At number 15, we have to instigate. To instigate. This verb means to cause or start something, often something negative like a conflict or argument. For example, the leader was accused of instigating unrest among the workers. Or who instigated this argument? It was so peaceful until a few minutes ago. Number 16, we have to conceive. To conceive. This verb means to form an idea or plan in the mind. An example, 
the architect conceived a revolutionary design for the new building. Or I can't conceive how they managed to pull off such an amazing event. Number 17, to envisage. To envisage. This verb means to imagine or predict something in the future. The team envisaged a future where renewable energy powers the entire city. Or can you envisage what our lives will be like in 10 years? Next, we have to apprehend. To apprehend. This verb has two meanings. Number one, it can mean to understand something or in a legal sense, to arrest someone. The police were able to apprehend the suspect after a thorough investigation. It took some time to apprehend the complexity of the situation. Or, I just can't apprehend why he made that decision. All right, coming up at number 19, we have to jeopardize. To jeopardize. This verb means to put something at risk of harm or loss. For example, by leaking confidential information, he jeopardized the entire operation. Or you can say, you don't want to jeopardize your chances of getting the job by arriving late. Finally, at number 20, we have deliberate. Deliberate. This verb means to think about or discuss something very carefully before making a decision. The jury took hours to deliberate before reaching a verdict. Or we need to deliberate a bit more before deciding where to go on vacation. Today, we cover some fantastic advanced verbs. These verbs will help you express yourself more effectively, whether you're writing formally or speaking casually. So which verb was new to you? Let me know in the comments and try using one in a sentence. I would love to see how you're putting them into practice. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more advanced English lessons, and hit the bell so you never miss an update. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more content and story updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.